Hello everybody. We have seen several examples of lung collapses in which one whole lung collapses. We have seen several examples of lobar collapses in which one lobe of lung collapses and we have discussed pathophysiology behind lobar collapses in several videos. We have discussed and seen at least one example of segmental atelectasis in which segments of a lobe of lung collapse rather than the whole lobe. Today we'll discuss another type of atelectasis which is known as sub-segmental atelectasis also known as discoid atelectasis or plage-like atelectasis. You can see prominent almost horizontal opaque shadows which are several millimeters in diameter and are not uniform in size. You can clearly differentiate these linear opacities from blood vessels although density is very similar to a blood vessel but a blood vessel should normally be larger in diameter towards the, the mid and should gradually taper towards the periphery. This is very clearly a sub-segmental atelectasis or discoid atelectasis. This is caused by obstruction of a small bronchus. It is very common in patients with very recent surgery, especially abdominal surgery. Small areas of uh, collapses can occur as a result of suboptimal ventilation, ischemia for example because of pulmonary embolism and hyperoxia is another cause and there can be other causes. On lateral view, you can clearly see that the atelectasis is in right lower lobe. The oblique fissure runs like this and horizontal fissure runs like this. This is right upper lobe, this is right lower lobe and this is right middle lobe. If you go back, you can see an area of opacity, a big area of opacity in left lower zone. There is a very prominent opaque shadow in left upper lobe. The lung volumes uh, looks normal bilaterally. There is no evidence of uh, hilar lymphadenopathy. The cardiothoracic ratio is normal. There is no sign of pleural diffusion bilaterally and there is no sign of free air under diaphragms. Trachea is not shifted and the aorta looks normal. Thank you very much.